Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian again, we've got a couple of knives here to show you. So this is gonna be more of a kind of a brand or product spotlight. You know, most of all my videos so far up to this point are all pretty much the same thing. I'm just introducing you guys to a couple of knives um, that I enjoy. They're by no means reviews. Um, I use all these knives, but they're uh, not to the point to where I want to do an actual full-fledged review on most of these. Um, there will be a couple of knives that I do introduce just straight away that will be an actual review, a long-term use. Um, yeah, I don't want I don't want to put put out there that a, a knife is is amazing or anything like that without uh, you know putting it through its paces without some long-term use. Uh, with that being said, a couple of these. I have uh, had for quite a while and carry them very frequently. Um, this one here is actually my wife's. She does carry it more than any of her other OTFs, but um, she doesn't have a whole lot of use behind it. Um, but all of these I've carried many, many, many times and um, you know, I've used them. But again, it's not something where I want to go into a full-fledged review on something. That being said, I can speak to the reliability, which is why I'm making this video. Um, so the company is TACCOM. It's T-A-K-C-O-M. So they are relatively new on the, on the market. You've probably seen some of the other uh, channels doing some information on them. Um, I've been a fan of these guys for quite a while. Um, before they were TACCOM. Um, there's your information, your website and everything. Again, that's TACCOM.com. Um, before these guys were TACCOM, they actually went under the TAC Knives branding. And they were originally TACKKnivesUSA.com. And again, now they are TACCOM.com. But when they first started out, uh, they were this way. And the, the knives that they have here that were part of that were the TK Pro line. All of their TK Pro line. So if you were to go onto the TACCOM, <clears throat> excuse me, onto the TAC Knives USA website and click on the TK Pro, that whole line has been moved over to the TACCOM.com website. Um, these are all made in a relationship with Best Tech. Um, the first one I'll show you here, the newest one, I'm going to go from smallest to largest. But this, the Stubby is their newest release. Um, they actually did a uh, naming contest, which unfortunately nobody won because um, everybody, uh, some of the, the best names were put out there were ones that were already taken. Myself and another gentleman uh, were selected um, as having the two, two of the best names, and we actually received the stubby uh, as a gift which was absolutely amazing um, I spent some time with Shane the owner at uh, at Blade Show great guy very down to earth um, you know the company so far every every dealing I've had with them is absolutely amazing um, I do have some of their I do have one of their earlier um, OTFs uh, a little bit of a uh, an homage, if you will, to another uh, OTF, and they've gotten out of that game a long time ago. They are no longer doing those. I uh, have actually ordered in, and should have them any day now, a uh, one of their OTF uh, box cutters, uh, little utility blades, as well as a multi-tool. Um, I wasn't aware that they were doing multi-tools, but uh, they had one that was pretty interesting, so we'll we'll take a look at those whenever they come in. But without any further ado, we'll just slide these kind of out of the way here so there won't be as much of focus on from the camera. And we're going to start with probably, uh, I can't say my favorite because the uh, the red one there in the background, which actually, let me move those out again. They're stealing some of the focus from the camera. This is probably one of my favorites. Let's get to zoom down here a little bit. So this is the TACCOM Stubby. 
absolutely love this pocket clip design. It is just absolutely perfect. Um, it's got just the right amount without having to be too tight. And the smooth carbon fiber kind of just allows it to slide right in and out. We'll go ahead and deploy that blade. There you can see the new TACCOM logo. And then the Best Tech logo. Again, this is in collaboration working with Best Tech. And there you can see the 154CM. So all of the TACCOM knives are 154CM at this time. Uh, with the exception of one. The Barracuda, um, I believe, is the only one that has a D2 steel currently. And then the uh, Wasp, I believe, is available as M390 and uh, titanium and brass uh, handles. And currently, those are out of stock. I know they're currently working on a V2 version of the Wasp, which is going to be pretty cool. But back to this guy. As you can see in here, just it fires out amazing. There's zero slack, slop, and then, you know, I mean, every OTS has got a little bit of wiggle. This thing's got just absolute minimum. I mean, you know, I've had them all. <laughs> Microtech, Heretic, Axial, Guardian Tactical, Hogue. Only one I haven't had my hands on is the live wire. Every OTF I've ever had has wiggle. That's just the way it is, except for the the deadlock, which I will never have my hands on one of those. It's just way outside of my budget, but just absolutely amazing. I love the way they did their carbon fiber here. This is their new carbon fiber. And contrary to any belief. The other knives, they are carbon fiber as well. It is just a, uh, kind of just like a, like a sheet of carbon fiber. It's not, um, molded or contoured or shaped in any way. It's just almost like a laminate. But again, this is the stubby. My name that I tried to, uh, tried to get for it was the Warcom playing into the TACCOM name, but uh, another company beat us to that, I guess. But they are calling this a Warncliffe blade. I, I'm calling it a Warnfoot or a Sheepcliff. It's definitely a modified Warncliffe. I do like that it's got a little bit of a belly there, but you've got the straight in versus the rounded, which is where it gets at, that kind of a modified Warncliffe. Very, very sharp right out of the box. Um, you're looking at just shy of a two inch blade. It's like two point or 1.98, I believe, is what they're uh, listing it as. I think that's just to get into that Cali legal standpoint. Then the uh, weight you're looking at just under three ounces, it's like 2.8 ounces or something like that. Again, yeah, just I love the way it fits in the hand. You know, I have, I don't know, medium to large hand size, just, but it fits in my hand perfectly. And because it is a little bit thicker and it has these cutouts, you know, kind of these inlays that are, that are bulged here, it, it just gives your hand more places to grip without being rough or having hot spots. I really, I really do enjoy it. Uh, so that's the stubby. And we're gonna go to the next in line here. <clears throat> as far as size is concerned, this is the Hornet. Another thing I'm re I really like about these guys is um, they kind of ditch the glass breakers. Um, you know, whether or not you want a lanyard loop or whatever. I mean, that's one thing, I just think that that looks a lot better than a big gaudy uh, glass breaker. 
uh, right hand only, which then again, this one is because of the, having the, the, the side switch can be either. Um, again, as you can hear, it's an absolutely amazing action. Very, very nice button. Um, borderline too large, <laughs> but that makes it absolutely e just, I mean, just an absolute pleasure to activate the knife. So, bear with me just a moment. I'm going to try to see if this helps anything with the lighting. Eh, kind of not really. We'll go with it. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to get the uh, get the bugs ironed out of this system here, but again, this is the Hornets. Um, this is their, I guess technically their third largest um, or third smallest. I guess you can say they do have one smaller than the Stubby. That's called the Stinger, which I do not have. Um, they have the Wasp, which again is a kind of a, a small, chunky little OTF. And then they have the Nighthawk, I believe is the other one that I don't have, which is their larger. Uh, so this is the only double-edged one we have that I have. Let's see if we can get in on this a little bit. It's a beautiful grind. It's hard to do on a on an OTF. I mean, you're talking a sub two hundred dollar. I mean, this is. I think these are like one seventy, something like that. And the grinds are absolutely perfect. Very symmetrical. Again, 154 cm. Beautiful satin, kind of a belt satin. You can see ground lines there. And this does have that kind of the, the ply carbon, whatever you want to call it, just the the regular just the carbon sheet um, they do ship these with a different button or a different screw for the button so you can either have the satin or the you know, kind of the, the silver button or you can get it to match they send you a black screw to match the rest of the hardware my wife prefers the look of the one with the silver which I kind of agree but again here it is again get you in great little knife um, pocket clips not deep carry which I prefer on an OTF I don't care about deep carry on an OTF um, a nice big lanyard hole all right oh I am sorry I did not go over any of the specs on this so you're looking at on the blade it is two and three quarter right at it and then the weight is just under three ounces it's 2.9 ounces so very light for the size now the next one here this is probably contender for my favorite next to the stubby this is the most recent one I've gotten this is the Vigor V2 aluminum and the red G10 and again another kind of a special feature that these do come with as the it ships with the satin screws but then he also gives you the black screws to put in which I love that that is just a little detail that nobody else would think about um, having those color options there 
which it really sets it apart. I really like having the black screws in there with the red. And then you just get that pop of silver with the button. Um, your clip, again, not deep carry, but it's a great clip. Good and strong. Um, now you'll see, I didn't show you on the last one, but you'll see these do have the TAC Knives logo versus the TAC Com logo. Um, there you go, there you can see it. So with that, that's just because these are still some of the, um, you know, some of the stock from before they switched over for the TAC Com. And, you know, this is just going back as far as January, if I'm not mistaken, it was during SHOT Show. Um, that uh, they that you know basically that Shane sat down with the guys from Best Tech and they kind of worked this stuff out. Um, and I'm really glad they did because I really enjoyed the tech, you know, the the TK Pro line, and for them to um, to really start working together. And now these are all in-house designs. Um, you know, these are just small small batch, small company doing you know trying to trying to do big things um now back to this guy so that does have the g10 inlays um, on both sides you got the black g10 on this side the red g10 on this side thought about dying this but i don't know i kind of dig the red um now the funky thing about this knife as there are technically two different blade shapes even though it I don't know if it lists it like that yet or not uh, Shane and I were talking about it at um, at blade show and I don't know I can't remember if he said it listed as two different blade shapes um, but we just kind of both realized really kind of paid attention to it when we were there talking about the differences so the red G10 come with the blade with the speed holes and it is a more of a Japanese Tonto so you've got less of the you got more of the sweeping belly on the secondary edge you do have the compound grime but you've got more of a sweeping edge versus the standard the black uh, inlays will have a traditional or a, a more American excuse me an american tonto which i think is really cool that depending on the color you get to kind of choose your blade shape again great blade very smooth button very good action let's go back out here a little bit of a stronger spring on this one but super fast and again these are all well carried um, I mean if you look on any of my posts you've seen this one get carried quite a bit just since I've gotten it from Blade Show and I fidget with these things way way too much I'm surprised I've never, I'm honestly surprised I've never had a misfire with these guys as much as I fidget with them. Um, I've probably, this one alone, I've probably opened and closed it, I don't know, three or four hundred times. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, now, the specs on this guy, you're looking at just a three inch blade here and just shy of four ounces, or right on four ounces. And so that again, that is the Vigor V2. And then the last one we've got here is the one I've had the longest. It is the only one with a reversible clip. So this one is actually set up for lefty because as I said in one of my first videos, I am actually left-handed. Um, I'm just so used to knives not being lefty friendly that I pretty much carry all of my knives in my right pocket. Um, but when I get the occasional one that's Something like an OTF, where it doesn't matter left or right hand. It's just as easy to open and close with either hand. So, with this one, I have it on my left side. And we're going to go ahead and zoom back in here. 
So again, this one has that, that ply or that laminate inlay. Again, the, the standard Tech Knives logo. This is the Barracuda. Again, one thing I love, again, no glass breaker, nothing to stab your hand or anything like that. So, go ahead and show the blade off here. So this thing has got a wicked little Warncliffe blade. This is my favorite blade shape. Warncliffe, cheap foot. Incredibly sharp, very, very, very acute tip on here. Again, this is the D2. So I believe this is the one of only two of their knives that has anything other than 154 CM. The other being the Wasp, again, with the uh, available M390. Okay, we'll zoom back out. Again, just that action. Fairly stout spring. Anybody that's handled a Ultratech or UTX-85, this is right up that alley. Smooth spring, but it's got a fair amount of tension, which is good. You don't want it deploying in your pocket. I don't know if I've got enough finger strength to do it the way I've seen some guys do it, but all right, guys. Well, that is it for these guys. So again, these were the new TACCOM series. Uh, again, this is four of the seven models that they carry. Um, I'm hoping to get the other three very soon. And as soon as I do, we'll we'll get videos of those up. I will also be doing the video with the uh, the tech knife stuff that I have incoming, the little utility blade and the uh, multi tool. Again, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments or shoot me a message on Instagram. Um, we got more coming, and still trying to get all of this stuff figured out. This is my longest video by far, so hopefully, you know, for the, those of you that have uh, stayed in there, comment down below. Let me know you're still here. But with that, guys, I really, again, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, again, I'm going to try to keep doing this for as long as I can and, and try to make these videos for, for everyone that's more, you know, down to earth. Just, this is just what I enjoy doing. I love talking about knobs. So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos, and uh, we'll see you next time.